So we know this program is specifically aimed at female or minority led small businesses. Why was that so important to the company? Well, when you think about small businesses, they are the most at risk businesses in America today. Some estimates show that you know up to 25% of small businesses, you know, over 2 million of them, um, could face material cash challenges, could even go out of business. So as we think about this distance to learning, at t is contributing $10 million towards efforts to help our kids learn during this time. And to your point, today we're announcing that we're contributing $1.2 million to seven small businesses that are building education platforms that are focused on things like teaching our kids to be bilingual, adaptive math problems, et cetera, and really at focus on underserved youth. It's uh, absolutely amazing the work they're doing and it's important for all of us to be supporting small businesses right now. Absolutely, and Mo, I have to ask, when did this effort start? Was this specifically after the pandemic started with so many kids learning at home? Well, we've been supporting education and distance learning efforts for actually many years. We've been focused on investing in what we call our Aspire Accelerator Program, which is small companies that are working on education, distance learning initiatives um, over the last several years. And so certainly, you know, this isn't new with COVID, but we've doubled down in our efforts with this $10 million uh, grant. Uh, the $1 million that we're announcing today, um, and even doing more things when you think about the education space, like we announced that we're going to be contributing free lines to any school for the next 60 days through kind of mid-May uh, for any existing devices that may have, like hotspots, tablets, etc., that they can provide to their students so that they can make sure they keep learning virtually at home, whether they have broadband or not. 